All right, we're back. That sucks. I had to clear some memory on my phone. I'm sitting here rambling on, and turns out we're not even recording, man. What a bummer. But let's uh, start all over again. All right. Well, anyway, I went to the real shot. They had a sale. Ordered some baits. Uh, pretty much, I got these rocket crawlers for about $3 a pack, and I thought that was a steal. Very good baits. This color is freaking crazy cool. It's like a motor oil. It's called Breen Clear Truce. So it's got it your motor oil looking color with more chartreuse in it. And each crawl looks different. Which I like that, you know. They're all a little different looking. But got four packs of those. Because I thought these were very delicious looking. So. Not that. Then I got the uh, Perfection Green Flake. Perfection Green Flake, yeah, that's what it is. Now I have this color in just a regular Perfection color. Let me show you the regular Perfection. This is the uh, the change up. This bay right here slays. Fished this on a Chica rig and man, has some good fish catches fishing this bait this way. We'll probably have to go and do that. And, uh, I can show you guys that it was slaying them. But don't have it in this color with the green flake. And I'll tell you what, the real shot, uh, the delivery was good. Came on time. I guess these maybe weren't selling too well. So I definitely recommend if you like this, go on there and check them out. You can really burn this crawl. Why they call it the rocket crawl. You can fish it fast. And these little antennas here in the water, they stay straight. So... I think it balances this crawl out and lets them click, let them, uh, let the feet flat or the arms go. So, got it in that color. Freaking smells good, nice and juicy. Just how I like it. And we got the Okeechobee crawl. I could never go wrong with some Okeechobee. Let's uh, pull out two because you know there's not one that's going to be the same as you can see. Each one looks a little bit different, but that is a nice Okeechobee crawl. You can just imagine it in the natural sunlight, them UVs hitting it, looking all juicy. It's going to look good. I've had uh, good success on a rocket crawl. I actually have uh, the rocket crawls that I have are all in the Havoc line up. And uh, I was like, you know what? Seeing these on there, said that's a no brainer. Let's go get them. Um, this one is purple pumpkin red. It just looks like peanut butter and jelly. But I guess it's got more uh, jelly than peanut butter. I don't know. There we go. So that is the, what is it? Purple pumpkin red. Really nice looking color there. That's going to slay. If you don't like these two, you could kick these things off and look at that. that thing looks pretty cocky now. Looks good. I like it. You could even rip these. Uh, it is a floater, so you could even pull these pinchers off. And then now you got like a Ned bait too. So all kinds of stuff you could do with it. So, next we got the uh, the blue crawl. Now, this may be harder to see on the camera because of the lighting in here. It may just look like a green pumpkin to you. But from a different angle, you could see the blue in it. I'm not sure if you guys can. But yeah, got that. What else we got? Is, is, is that all the, all the colors? Uh, that is all the colors. Because they're all the same there. Alright. Pick this up. The Hybrid Hunter. Got this one. Uh, I have the junior size. But I did not have this size here. Now this is great for grass. Three to five feet deep right there. This color is Green Gizzard. And um, it's really weird. Because this was a Strike Pro lure. There was a company called Strike Pro. And they actually sold the mold to Strike King. So this is actually a Strike Pro mold that now Strike King has. Another weird thing about Strike King is there's a new lure lineup that you'll see in Dick's called uh, Lose Mock. And they have this lipless 
And I swear it is the same lipless as Strike Pro. Let me go get it. I actually had a tournament this weekend, so I went through my tackle, took the stuff out that I wasn't gonna fish. But if you look here, if you look up the Lose Mock, it is the same lipless. See, this one says Strike Pro on top. So I do think that Strike Pro, I think Strike King came along and was like, yo, can we get your molds? You're no longer using them, we want them. This is nice, it has double line tie. This is actually a peacock bass right here. And this one is going to pair bottom fishing. He's down there in Florida, catch you some peacocks. It's up to you if you want to fish it, man, or just savor it, because you can't get it no more, all right? And, and if you go on eBay, people will probably charge an arm and a leg for it. So that's up to you what you want to do with it. But that may be a hard one to find, but coming your way. But yeah, I think striking and lose, you know, lose is owned by striking. It's all on their same umbrella. And so I think they just bought the molds from Strike Pro. Moving on. On Shop Carl's, they had like last week or probably like two weeks ago, buy any bad fish bait and get a bottle of their dock sauce. And that's what I did. And let me say, it's pretty good. It's something you would want to dip your shrimp in if you like seafood. If you don't like seafood, this is not going to taste good on anything but seafood, really. It is like a cocktail sauce or something like that, but pretty good. So this bottle was like eight bucks. So spending six bucks, got two paddle tails, got that for free. And these are pretty nice looking paddle tails. This is called the Golden Banana. Everybody likes to. Uh, Oh, now you know what? Let me just leave that one alone. Let me not say that. Because not everybody likes a golden banana. I know I don't. I... Alright, where did that go? Alright, the golden banana got very hairy. Damn animals. But as you can see, it is a slippery bait. Nice color. Looks very natural. You know, I've showed you this before, and I remember, because it has that cut out there, because look at that tail. It's really going to whack back and forth, gives it a lot more, it's like spring loaded. So, we did get some more of those. And, we got the purple cactus color there. I'll take one out, maybe it shines better through the light. There we go. I got to get my butt edited and get some fishing videos up for you guys. I've been out there fishing. I got all my memory cards full. I've just been slacking on the editing. Kind of why I got away from doing this. I feel like this is kind of a cop out from the real thing, you know. I feel like I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Then we got these from last year. This finally came in from iCast 2021. Got the Berkeley Gilly. So happy to get this. Went out and fished it. It does run like pretty straight, but when you go fast, it does get up on its side. So I still got to play around with it. I have not fished a smaller one yet. I fished a bigger one, but this one here is the uh, HD pumpkin seed. Uh, pumpkin seed and red breast are probably the most prettiest looking sunfish. Definitely love the pumpkin seeds and the red breast. Really freaking amazing fish, but. As you can see, man, this thing got a lot of texture here. Really snappy and limber. I mean, boom. Really cool. So with the smaller guys, you will get four in a pack. Let's uh, come on, dude, get in there. We gotta hurry up. We only have like 20 minutes. And my phone memory will run out. I gotta clean it out. Then we got the uh it's just a crappy oh the HD sunfish bigger one there get a three count then we got the crappy looking pretty good it's 110 millimeters the other ones are 90s i believe yeah so that's the size difference pretty cool then i finally did get this in fished it looked really good in the water swam good came through the grass great this is the uh bama brim it is a fusion 19 hook it's a berkeley swim jig and it's very nice i like it i mean super sharp hook skirts beautiful looking 
I mean, they're tied up nice and looks like a nice jig. Got the power bait infused into the skirt, which I don't smell it truthfully. Even when I open up out of pack, I really didn't smell it. And it doesn't really matter to me because I don't think that this scent that's on a reaction bait is going to really mean much. I think they're going to see it swim by and just snap, snap on it. You know what I mean? I don't think they're going to be able to really sniff it out. But maybe when they do get close and they're trailing it, they could get a whip and they get a taste. But that was pretty cool. Did fish these around. These are newer. There's definitely an issue with these, though. Um, I don't know if anybody else is having this issue, but with the very first time fishing it, there is pretty cool. There is a rattle in there. You'll see a little plastic cup. I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a plastic little cup, and there's a rattle. Maybe you could hear. Well, this one, after throwing it out a few times, the plastic cup came off, and then when that happens, it really just spreads the cheeks on these things. Look at that. I mean, that's you get a good idea how that's tied in there. But yeah, I think they're going to have to go back to the drawing board and fix that. I don't like that. The other one does that. I'm probably going to stay away from this bait and stick to like the different ones, you know. I do think that the structure gill, I had one around. Oh. Savage Gear did very good with the structure gill. I actually have quite a few of these and they swim great. They look great pretty awesome and uh i really like this thing and want it to be awesome but i do not like that so that's a big no-no right there not really digging that at all so berkeley fix your stuff and uh moving on man i feel like i got so much stuff to show you guys but just a little limited amount of time so this is a bait that I got a couple of years back from Northern Tackle, you know, they're the ones that make like the Mimic Minnow and all that great stuff. They had a, like a, a sale and I got this for a dollar and this glows in the dark. It's very nice. It is a rattle trap. I just had to change the hooks out, but I try to catch like walleye with this and stuff. You know, I feel like when it's starting to get dark, you know, this really just gives extra light. So, when I seen this one here, that at glue, I'm like, this is freaking awesome. This is a new one by Yozori. It is a 3D RX. Now, only one person has seen this so far. I showed my bud, BBO. He has seen this sucker. But I have not showed you guys it yet. So, check that out. Really cool. It has like a waffle pattern inside. Let's see, they're calling it the 3D RX, 3D Prism Scale. And the Azori makes good stuff. There's nothing out of the box you need to change. The hooks are good. The, the split rings are good. Everything about it's good. So that's really cool. Let's see if we can get it to glow. Let me uh, charge this thing. Ah, uh, unplug the damn light. Let me charge it up real quick for you guys. All right. There we go. Look at that sucker glow. Really freaking cool. So, got this color. There's uh, some things that I'm waiting for from iCast that I, I ordered. This was the first thing that they sent me. A lot of other stuff is like pushed back to August. Mostly a lot of Berkeley stuff that I picked up. And, um,. This is a, it's also got the UV colors in it. So this is a UV purple tiger. Now fish, the UVs from the sun are, is able to penetrate through the water to like a certain extent and make the fish see it better. So this is the UV purple tiger. And uh, speaking of UV, let me see. Tight lines, they're all about that UV life. They're saying that uh, 80% of UV light is able to penetrate 0 to 6 feet. And then 6 to 40 feet, 100% UV light is able to get through. The UVs from the sun can get through up to 40 feet. Anything after 40 feet is pitch black. So, really to be able to see the UV, you need like that blue UV light. And, and you can see the colors are just wild. But... The sun's able to give off that color that, you know, we can't really see. 
But that is a UV's tight line little crawl. Throw this dude on a Ned head and uh, the light's going to really penetrate through. So that's pretty cool. Had these for a while. They're pretty expensive. They're like seven bucks a pack. Got these a couple years ago and I got to give them a try actually. You know, they've just been sitting around. I did try one. There is actually a, a mark in it. I did go out with one of them, but uh, had no luck. Uh, which one is it? I mean, I'm sure you guys believe me. I'm not sitting here telling you about baits that I'm not fishing. If I haven't fished it, I'll tell you guys. But anyway, yeah, got the dock sauce. Really cool. I, I've had these for a while. I always forget to show you these. But Devo's fishing. Oh, what a good dude he is. He sent me like a care package just for being a good supporter a while back and I feel bad because now that I have my own YouTube channel I really don't watch many people anymore I just watch like a lot of smaller channels like mine but I, I got this here let me plug in that light freaking place sucks you know this freaking light embarrassing me to bring a fellas but I got this oh let me turn this back on there we go now we're on got the, do you need me i see the charger um can you use this one for now can you just use this one for now all right thank Sorry, you yeah all right Sorry. you're right Sorry. now get out Sorry. Sorry. Beat. Don't beat me. get in the closet <laughs> all right but yeah i got this from diva this is the fire tiger that he painted dude does an amazing job look at that hook that is a weird hook there pretty wild looking i'm probably going to change them out i like a shorter shank hook myself but i still think that's a pretty cool hook right there but i wanted to show you that and as a bonus he uh man freaking girl distract me oh there we go send me this this is kind of like a wiggle war style bait or like the um what is it the uh lucky strike g5 or something actually i got one here Very similar to this. Actually, is it the same? No, it's not the same, but very similar. You would think it's the same. But yeah, he painted me this and uh, sent this to me for free. He does a really good job. A lot of his stuff sells out. This was like the only thing he had on there. And man does a good job. But anyway, just going through organizing some tackle. Figure I make a video in the bedroom here. And let me show you what we got going on here. Got the wall looking juicy. It's already messy. There you go, Joe. A nicer, closer look coming your way. But as you can see, this is my uh, tackle closet here. We got a lot of soft plastics here, all named and labeled. Down here is all the hard baits and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, we, we just got tackle everywhere. I have to go through and show you guys what I got. Got all these boxes filled with tackle. I just got too much damn tackle. So I really haven't been ordering like I have been. Um, I still got to hook up my brother Bert. I got to hook you up, Albert, with some tackle coming your way. And in the closet here, I got freaking tons of freaking stuff in here. I mean, this stuff's all filled with 10,000 fish. It's all filled up with, uh, these are pretty cool. Some larger swim baits. Got these in all the different colors. Let's get this back in there. This room's too small, man. I'm outgrowing it. This is just a bunch of paddle tail swim baits. It goes back pretty far, pretty thick. And, uh... In here, we got some juicy stuff. See, I get very distracted. Ugh. It's hard to lift. But in there, we got some more stuff. All kinds of stuff in there. Take a look. All kinds of stuff. So, got to go through. Get things cleaned up. But in the meantime, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Hope you enjoyed. 
uh, I kind of miss doing some videos in a room, you know. It's, it's an easy way to break up from editing and stuff like that. But if you guys enjoy, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, peace out.